Obama presidency is expected to be a reversal of the Bush restrictions on embryonic stem cell research imposed in 2001. Now that will mean a lot to this company, Geron, in Silicon Valley, California, one of the world leaders in stem cell research. This freezer, for example, is packed full of frozen stem cells. And this company will be the first in the world, hopefully later this year, to do a trial involving spinal repair using embryonic stem cells, hopefully trying to restore some movement into patients who are paralyzed. Now, Tom O'Kama is the CEO at Geron. Uh, Tom, what do you think a difference will it make if President Obama reverses the ban on the embryonic stem cell funding? Well, it's a step in the right direction to improve the funding scenario for all of us. But by itself, it won't change the landscape. We need to be smarter about repairing the extensive damage done by the Bush administration, and secondly, to leverage what companies like Geron have done using private sources of money. The Bush administration program has slowed to a snail's pace the delivery of this therapy to patients. Now, tell us about your, your trial that you're waiting to go ahead with, with spinal patients. We've learned to make a cell that repairs the damage done in the spinal cord in a spinal cord injury. And when we put that cell into animals with spinal cord injury, they walk again. So our hope is that we show safety in man and that we enable some recovery in patients with so-called complete thoracic spinal cord injuries who normally have no response whatsoever to any form of therapy. That would be a dramatic example of the promise of embryonic stem cell therapy. Yes, because over the years we've heard a lot about embryonic stem cells, but they haven't really delivered yet, have they? Well, that's because there's no money to do that. Geron has spent as much money on our program as the entire NIH over the past 10 years. That's not sustainable. Today there should be 50 Gerons doing the work that we're doing. What about the future, 10 or 20 years from now, how important will embryonic stem cells be? Well, we think it will become standard therapy for chronic disease. So when I have a heart attack, instead of coming home with a damaged heart, I'll come back with one repaired with new heart muscle cells. If I have a stroke, I'll come back with new nerve cells that have repaired the damage in the stroke. That will enable more of us to enjoy a healthy lifespan, free of chronic disease. It will reduce the cost of long-term care, and it will enable more of us to maintain an independent lifestyle till the end of our natural life. Some critics have said it, it's immoral, you're destroying human life, and in fact you're making false promises because nothing has actually been delivered yet. Well, let's take an, a, a scale example. From one embryo, we've made a, a whole master cell bank of embryonic stem cells. From that single embryo-derived line, we could treat every spinal cord injured patient in North America for 22 years. So that to me is a moral use of an embryo that was created uh, and not used for IVF uh, uh, pregnancy achievement. Tom Coleman, thank you very much indeed. You're welcome.